everyone. Long time, no videos, right? Uh, we have been thoroughly enjoying Audrey. I'm actually breastfeeding her as I do this voiceover mom wife, right? <laughs> no, but it's been a great three months of settling in and kind of getting a system and a rhythm and just thoroughly enjoying her. So, anywho, um, you may remember that we have a sawmill as of January and this footage is from like February when we started doing that sawmill shed. And if you're doing the math, yes, I was five to six months pregnant depending on where we are in this footage but anywho um let me recap we took down a tree in order to make room for the sawmill shed and unpacked the sawmill so then we started we had this lumber from a big pallet if you can imagine this was a once a pallet yes it was a pallet that they used to move rotors on At any rate we took apart the pallet and matched the beams for the joiner we were using so once we got all that joiner done, then we used the auger to drill holes, and we were trying to be make these holes as big as possible since our auger is, I think it's a four inch auger, and these beams are six to eight inches in width, something around that range. So we're trying to make the holes bigger, and then Charlie ended up finishing the holes out by hand while I put tar on the bottom of the beams, trying to keep the beams, um, preserve them, you know, from bugs and whatnot. Then we use the tractor to put the beams in place and I would raise up that top beam and then Charlie would come by and knock it all into place and kind of make sure it was level and square and all that good jazz. So you can see we have one side up and one side to go. He's making more notches and then using again using the tractor to move that beam assembly up to make the other side of the shed. And then it came time to do the power. This was the first time we got to use this attachment I don't know what it's called, but it's an attachment that you can put down and it'll kind of make like a tunnel for you, if you will. Much better than digging from scratch in Georgia clay. This part of our property has a mixture of clay and dirt and it is quite hard. I do have some of the shop. <laughs> and I was like, yeah, you think it's still good? And you're like, yeah, it's still good. Because this should have seen. <laughs> this is only a year old. <laughs> it's only even a deer left me alive. <laughs> you drive me nuts. <laughs> So then my dad came into town. This was the couple days before Charlie's brother's wedding. So this was about six months along the pregnancy. He came in a few days before we left for the wedding. That way we could kind of acclimate him to the dogs and he could get us into the schedule and how everything works. And then we used his help to assemble the sawmill. It was really nice to have a third pair of hands. And he likes doing that sort of stuff too. So he had a good time. Apparently when he went back home and told everybody about their sawmill and the coolness of it all and everyone kind of gave him a glaze over look. <laughs> Anywho, so we're just assembling this sawmill and then we got to work on the power for it. We're running lines through that conduit that we buried in the ground and hooking up the sawmill. We got the electric version. We figured that had a lot of benefits over the gasoline version. I mean first gasoline needs a lot more maintenance and upkeep. It's a lot noisier and then, what was the other benefit? Oh, it was quieter. Man, my mommy brain. Okay, it was also quieter than the gasoline version. So since all those reasons, and we didn't need it to be portable, we figured we'd, we would just have it electric. Uh, and then we wouldn't have to worry about gas, having gasoline on hand and if it had gone bad and all that good jazz. I mean, the portable is a great option, don't get me wrong, we just needed, didn't need it to be portable. So once the electric was all hooked up, then we started doing logs and we have a ton of logs like or we had a ton of logs that need to be cut and actually these pieces right here are being cut to use for these braces up top you can see Charlie's taking those slats now and he's kind of nailing it to the side that way he gets the profile of what the notch should look like and he can take it down and start cutting that notch out between using a circular saw and a um, jigsaw is that what it's called jigsaw my brain no, it's called a sawzall. A sawzall. Come on. Okay, so then, <laughs> once he got all those knots, he can put them into place. At this point, oh, let me catch you up. So at this point, Audrey had been born, 
and I'm inside, you know, with a newborn, not able to help him anymore, and that's why I've disappeared from the footage. So then he lined up some of those slats and cut them into, I don't know, four inches or something like that width, and used those to, to connect the two. You can see he's using those slats to connect um, those big brace things. That way he's able to put a roof on, and we decided to go with a metal roof and you can see those are the pieces there that he just nailed to those slats so that in a nutshell is our sawmill shed and we and when i say we i mean charlie because i'm inside with audrey and she's still too young for all of this goodness but charlie has been using the sawmill like crazy and going through all of our logs and making them into slats it has been so much better than a chainsaw mill and we have been really enjoying the sawmill so far so I hope y'all enjoyed. As always, we appreciate y'all for watching, and we hope to catch y'all next time.